beauties your girl Eunice Marie here welcome to my channel and if it's your first time here go ahead and take a moment to subscribe and hit the like button we're going to be talking all about double cleansing your skin I feel double cleansing is really 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 important especially if you wear makeup like myself and if you are acne oily skin prone okay it is very important that you double cleanse so that's what we're going to be doing today I got my wine, sippy sippy, and let's get things started, okay? There are a lot of different things that people use to double cleanse. Some people use like balms, some people use um, like the ponds, you guys seen that, it's really old school, um, and many people use oils. So today we are going to be using an oil. I typically use oils to remove my makeup they're just better i have a whole lot of oils they're easier to remove they're easier to use to remove my makeup so we're going to use coconut oil and the thing about coconut oil is that coconut oil has a lot of great antibacterial properties which is great if you are acne prone or oily skin okay so we're going to dig right into the jar we're going to go ahead and get us some coconut oil you don't need a lot about that much I would say sometimes I do this process twice depending as you guys can see I have a lot of makeup on so sometimes I need more more oil than usual or I need to do it twice so pretty much we're just gonna go ahead and we're just going to massage in the oil sitting up especially on my eye makeup and my brow makeup the real heavy stuff okay so we're just going to go ahead and make sure we remove all that. Then we'll go up to like the forehead and the rest of the face. I usually take a makeup wipe, but because I'm all out of makeup wipes currently, I'm going to use the Honey Pot wipes. Now, these are more feminine wipes, but they can be used on the body and face. And I have been using them and I must say they work amazing when it comes to that. I'm gonna just start to remove my makeup. Now, one thing that I must say I really do like about the double cleansing method is that if you guys know, a lot of times you wear eye makeup, mascara, liner, and I see a lot of girls who don't do the double, um, the double cleanse method, and they end up having a lot of like staining around their eye left or they end up having a lot of like eye makeup, especially darker eye makeup, left behind because they didn't get in there, they didn't double cleanse. And I watch so many videos of girls doing that and you guys, it annoys me so much. Like, it annoys me. Like when they do a full on, they wash their face, they do a mask and then they go on to, uh, you know, putting on their moisturizer and they still have a whole bunch of like, eyeliner still left behind so double cleansing and really getting into you know your eye area is very important then i'm gonna go on with another wipe and do the other side of my face and some soaps you guys are not good to put around your eye area that can really cause you to have irritation so if you can't wash your eye or if you can't like get that dark you know pigment out of the eye area that's going to be really bad. I really do feel like that can cause you to have like stains in your skin. Like that's just me. I really feel like if you're not properly removing your eye makeup, it can cause you to have some staining. So you guys see how I still have some makeup left in my eye area? You guys see that? I'm going to go in and I'm going to cleanse one more time. So I'm going to grab a little bit more of my coconut oil and I'm focusing this directly on the eye area. And as you guys can see, voila, okay? So you can definitely see that all my eye makeup is gone. Um, you don't see anything left behind like you did before. And I will be making a DIY oil cleanser, so stay tuned for that. But now that we are all cleansed up 
from the first cleanse, we're now going to step into cleansing our face with actually soap, okay? So, let's do it. So now that I'm all cleansed, it is now time to continue the skincare regimen. So now we're going to tone. And I tone using straight witch hazel. Witch hazel has a lot of great benefits for oily skin, acne prone skin. I do suggest if you are somebody who struggles from oils and acne, get you some witch hazel. It has um, a lot of great healing benefits when it comes to acne as well as it also helps to balance out the oil. It also helps to balance out the oil in your skin. I'm going to go in with my NOLA Essentials Restore Serum. I don't use this every night. I use this when I just feel like my skin needs an extra oomph. Okay, so I feel like we need an extra oomph. This does have glycolic and hyaluronic acid in it. This stuff is, and that's probably a little bit too much. Hold on, let's take some of that away. Um, this stuff is intense. I'm going to tell you that right now. Like when you put those four little drops on, you can feel the burn. Okay. So with this stuff, I don't use it as often because it is very strong. And right now, oh my gosh, I think I added too much. My skin is on fire. But I do suggest using this a couple of times out the week. You don't want to use it too much because this stuff is intense. And I don't know if it's like... The longer it sits, the stronger it gets. But oh my goodness, like that glycolic in that bad boy is no joke. So I just pretty much take that after my witch hazel and put it all over. Okay. Whew. It, if you guys don't remember the first time I used that product when I did a Nola Skin Essentials um, haul or review, same thing happened when I put that on. I was like, oh, this is a bit much um definitely that stuff is strong i don't suggest pairing it with other glycolics like if you use that product make sure it's the only glycolic you're using for that day okay so next we're going to go in with our moisturizer and this is my favorite moisturizer shea moisture and we're going to do two pumps maybe two and a half pumps and this is very important to calm that skin after putting down that nola so i'm just going to go ahead and put this onto my skin mm. And you guys, this stuff is like butter. Oh my gosh. It does so good for my skin. I love this stuff for my skin. One. And then we're going to go in with a serum, a face serum. I like to seal up with an oil. A little bit of oil though, not too much. It's This oil is my... Oh my god, that oil is so good. It has a lot of great oils inside of it. And then we just go ahead and... Put that on top of your moisturizer, okay? I'm gonna put on a little bit of a uh, lip balm, and that is it. That is it, you guys. So that is how I double cleanse my skin, and that is how to double cleanse your skin. It's very easy. The only difference is that people use different things, like balms or like the ponds or different oils. There's different things that people use and probably how many times they may double cleanse or wash their face but it's all the same thing it's all about pre-prepping the skin removing everything and then going in and cleansing the skin all right and with that being said you guys thank you so much for watching this is your girl Eunice Marie make sure to rate comment subscribe all that fun stuff and I will see you guys in a later video bye